Hi, I'm Terry Vanderheiden. I'm going to show you how to add Foley sounds to your next production to make the sound quality way better. If you're a still photographer and you're just getting into video with your DSLR, you probably found out what I did, and that is my audio sucked. So a way to fix that is two things. First off, you have to understand where the problem's coming from. The problem is the microphone that's on the camera is tiny and it's poorly placed, really, because if you're shooting a video with your camera here and your sound is way over here, it's not gonna be able to pick up that sound properly. So you gotta invest in some off-camera mics. So what we're gonna do today is show you using an off-camera mic, but going back and creating Foley sounds to make your production even better. Let me show you an example. In this production, there are three short clips, all of which had their own sound when I shot it. I didn't have the ability to collect sound there, so what we're gonna do is add in the Foley sounds to this clips later. But let me show you the clips to begin with and let those things run. Uh, out front. On, on a, on a cart. When you're shooting quickly like this, a lot of times you don't have time to bring out microphones and collect sound as it properly needs to be collected. So what I suggest you do, there's two things that are possible. One is just go ahead and throw in some background music to kind of cover up where those sounds would have been, but you can make it even better by adding Foley sound effects. With Foley sound effects, you're gonna add the sound after the production is done to make your whole production sound a lot more professional. The first thing to remember is to keep things simple. So what I did is I took and recorded those video clips onto the iPad so that I could then follow along with it when I'm making my sound effects. It's a real simple procedure to get simple clips onto a video source like this. You can also use a iPod or uh, any other source that allow you to watch the video while you're doing your sound effects. The next thing I did was get a boom microphone and this is gonna allow me to collect the sound. We're gonna collect it to a digital recorder, so then we'll just add it in later in post. So let's get started with the first one, which was the easiest one, and that was taking glass. There was a scene in there where a guy was wiping down glass. I wanna get that squeak of wiping down glass. This was pretty easy. I simply went to a window, set up the microphone, and then started wiping the glass down with Windex and a cloth. And it makes that squeaky sound, and we just time that squeaky sound to how the guy is on the video cleaning his glass. Next, I had to make the sound of crabs being stacked on ice. In order to make that sound, I considered gravel or something like that, but truly to keep that sharp sound that ice makes, I just grabbed some uh, ice that I crushed in my uh, ice crusher and we stack this onto a cutting board just to kind of control it a little bit. Keep our microphone nice and close and I have my iPad that has the movie so I go ahead and play that and as the ice is being uh, utilized in here where the crab gets So I'm collecting the sounds like that, and there, then that's a simple way that you can collect the sounds and watch and get the timing down. So again, you just repile it up, hit play, and as the, as the crabs get stacked, I move the back of my hand. That's how you make the sound of that. Lastly, I had to make the sound of fire burning. So I didn't want to go to the trouble of building a fire in the fireplace, so what I found was plastic wrap. I took the plastic wrap and crinkled it in front of the microphone to give me that crackling sound. Doesn't that sound great? It sounds just like fire. So here's the final section where we actually put the sound effects in time with the three little clips and added a little bit of background music and you'll see how this sounds a whole lot better. It didn't take a whole lot of extra time to add those Foley sound effects. All you need to do is make sure you try to keep things simple. 
make your sounds as simple as possible, and make your recording setup as simple as possible. Always remember to wear your headphones while you're recording sound. That way you can hear exactly what you're trying to record. Lastly, if you don't have an iPad or an iPod or something to put your recording on to look at, don't sweat it. Just go ahead and make those recordings of those sound effects and then try to line them up and put them into post. The only reason you need it, something like this is if timing is really critical for those sound effects. So other than that, you're good to go. You got the tools now. So go ahead and add some Foley sounds to your next production. Have a great time.